I told you last week how we are suing for the email and text messages of Andrew McCabe, the disgrace number two FBI official. He was fired for misleading investigators about his involvement in leaks about the Clinton email matter. Or maybe the, it was the Clinton Foundations, I don't know. One of the two. Anyway, he was fired for lying. Should have been fired for a lot of other reasons, but that, that's another story. So we are representing a former retired supervisory FBI agent, Jeffrey Danik, who's suing for the records of uh, Andrew McCabe. Specific, specific text messages and email messages that met, mentioned the Clintons, uh, his wife, who was running for office for a period of time. She received money from the Clinton gang, uh, Terry McCullough specifically, to run and her run for office, which raised issues about her, his conflicts of interest in handling not only a criminal investigation into McCullough, Virginia governor, who was under criminal investigation. I never know. I wonder what ever happened in that criminal investigation. But he was running the. He was involved in the Clinton email investigation as head of the Washington field office, and he was running it as number two of the FBI. Never accused himself until judicial. Well, actually, he did. He did it secretly a week before until a week before the election. And how do we know that? A judicial watch lawsuit that we uncovered the FOIA information for. So anyway, we want more information on what Andrew McCabe was up to. We suspect the text messages will be exciting and illustrative of what he was doing. That's why we asked. And the FBI came back to us and said, text messages aren't covered by FOIA. They don't even want to look at the text messages. So um, the funny thing is, I was on Sean Hannity's program last Friday and I was talking about this. Judge Janine Pirro was the guest host. And we had been talking about other things. And she said, well, what else are you working on, Tom? And we had just gotten this document that day, as I, I guess I had talked to you about it last week as well. And I said, well, well, by the way, you know, we're still fighting for text messages that we can't get from the FBI and the corrupt Andrew McCabe. Well, the president responded the next day. He tweeted out, and I have a copy of the tweet here, why isn't the FBI giving Andrew McCabe text messages to Judicial Watch or appropriate governmental authorities? FBI said they won't give up even one. I may have to get involved. Do not destroy, he writes in all caps. What are they hiding? And then he goes on to talk about McCabe's wife took big campaign dollars from Hillary people, as I described. So I don't know if the president, I'm glad, I mean, what, it's great the president's following our work. And I hope he does involve himself in this case. He's president of the United States. He should be telling the Justice Department and the FBI to be fully transparent with the American people and stop hiding evidence of criminal and corrupt activity and start following the FOIA law and be transparent. I mean, Congress isn't doing it. Congress isn't doing it. It's Judicial Watch that's doing it. The media, zero interest in holding Hillary Clinton accountable. And I'm thankful that we have a president of the United States who's taking a personal interest in corruption matters in his government. It's really never happened before in a direct way this way. And it really hasn't. Prior presidents, they pretend not to be involved in anything substantial related to corruption matters. Anytime corruption's mentioned, they're like, oh, you know, they don't, they don't comment. They defer to the agencies. They want to wait. They want, they, even if they're not responsible, they don't want to be anywhere near it. This president, he's taking it head on. Now, I'm sure he's being told by his lawyers, don't intervene or he's been told by that his lawyers in the past don't intervene. But this is a bit, pretty basic issue where he should intervene, direct the Justice Department to follow the law and stop pretending that text messages aren't covered by FOIA. Because if the position is the text messages aren't being covered by, aren't covered by FOIA, government officials will conduct government business on text messages and you won't see what they're in, what they're, uh, what's in them. Now, the FBI is saying as a legal matter, text messages aren't covered by FOIA. But legalities aren't the issue here, right? The issue here is corruption. 
Andrew McCabe and the leadership of the FBI corruptly rigged and ran the Clinton email investigation. We want text messages about that. That's why they don't want to give them to us. They're coming up with legal window dressing as to prevent that from happening, but that's just like it is, window dressing. The reason is they're covering up corruption within the FBI because they know, I'm sure, there are text messages like the text messages that the IG uncovered of Peter Strzok and Lisa Page. Where Peter Strzok was talking about having an insurance policy and wanting to stop Donald Trump. 